Well, now to Unsolved California and an update on the Robin Brooks murder case. ABC 10's Madison Wade has been following the case over the last two weeks and was in the courtroom today for the closing arguments. Chris, this trial is coming to a close, and I can tell you the family and friends of Robin Brooks have waited more than 40 years for justice in this case. Now, the jury will decide the fate of the accused killer and rapist, Philip Lee Wilson. They will decide if he is guilty or not. Now, cameras are not allowed in the courtroom. We are not allowed to film, but I can tell you today there were significantly more people watching the closing arguments happen. Cold case detectives, family members, and friends watched as the prosecution and defense argued their case for the last time. The prosecution started out by saying Wilson is a, quote, charismatic man, but he is also, as the evidence in this case shows, a man with the proclivity to create monstrous acts. Now, DA Tim Carr points to physical evidence in this case, DNA evidence that paints a picture of what happened to Brooks and proves Wilson is guilty, he says. He also told the jury Wilson believed he could throw detectives off track. Carr said Wilson was boxed in by evidence in this case. But now the defense is saying Wilson had a consensual relationship with Brooks and someone else killed her. That someone else? The defense points to a man named Norbert Holston, who is no longer alive. Holston was the boyfriend of Brooks's sister Maria at the time. The defense is also pointing to Wilson's blood found on the walls to be from a workplace injury and not consistent with the prosecution's argument that the blood was from Wilson cutting himself in the process of killing Brooks. Ultimately, the jury will decide the fate of Wilson and deliberations could start as early as tomorrow. And of course, we will be there when the verdict comes down.